Hi, this is Nancy again with White Rose Gallery, and you can find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash White Rose Gallery. Thank you again for joining me, and I hope you had fun today on our making a canvas board out of a cereal box. And this was the box, and we cut it out and made one board and painted it with one layer of craft paint. I can also take this remaining cardboard and make another panel. And if you had two cereal boxes, then you can make four panels and prepare them for the week if you are interested in making lots of paintings this week. So again, take the outside of your box. You get to reduce, reuse, and recycle this material and you don't have to go to the store and buy anything. You don't have to ask your parents to get you anything. You can use what you already have at home. So you're doing the earth a big favor because it's not going in a trash dump. It's not going to a landfill, thank God. And there you are. So cut off the ends. And these fun little pieces, if they're nice and smooth and neat, these, if they're real pretty like that, um, you can paint those and make a bookmark out of them. Okay. Well, I hope that this inspires you today to look around and find what craft and art project pieces you have. If you have some paint and a brush and a pencil and eraser, that's really all you need. So we went from this cardboard to painting a layer of paint with my craft paint right here. And I just painted all across the board first. And while I let it dry, I set it down and let it dry for about five to 10 minutes. And then after it was dry, I basically took my pencil and you can go outside and explore nature and see something that you think is really beautiful and sit down and draw it while you're outside. That's called plein air painting and plein air drawing which a lot of the French artists did uh, during the late 1800s and many of us still do that to this day. It's really great to draw and paint outdoors. So this was what my board looked like. Again, I painted the craft paint on it in one layer, covered everything, let it sit for a few minutes and dry, and picked my subject, which in this case I had my rose in a vase and I had some hydrangeas in my other vase back there and I'll show you those in just a second then I just drew the stems with two sides so that you make sure you're drawing not just one line but two and then I drew my large shape for a beautiful hydrangea and then in between that I drew an iris these grow in my yard which are amazing a friend gave me a couple bulbs to plant in the ground in November that was about five years ago and I had one or two bulbs. After I planted those I now have about 30 to 40 blooms each year because they double every year and they multiply and it's so cool. So nature is amazing. God made it and it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will show you my other flowers And I do have some of these hydrangea like this in my yard. I do happen to have pink and blue, but I bought these white ones because I thought they were so pretty. Here are some more of the irises from my yard. They're starting to droop. They don't last very long inside, but I cut them and brought a couple of them in. And um, this is one from today back here. Oops, it's a little bit stuck, but I hope you can see that that beautiful purple and it has one, two, three, four petals at least, actually maybe five. So you have to really observe mm, and stop and smell the roses and smell the flowers. So until next time, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun in creating a way to celebrate Earth Day and to celebrate God's beautiful nature and spring that you can take cardboard and recycle it, making it a painting canvas for you to work on. Have a great day.